All right, so you know I love sharing the perspective on communication from other people, and I just had a great meeting with Beth. So Beth, can you share with us a little bit? What's your take on what makes for really good communication, especially in today's, like, this connection economy? What are some of the things that you notice that work really well, be it in your company or in your life, in terms of communication? Sure. Well, Scott, I guess I would say, for me, it's starting with why. I know that's a pretty popular thing to say, but people crave that meaning. They want to know why it is that we're doing this. Mm -hmm. um, and that can go to like any message that you're trying to deliver. But um, I think beyond that, when you start to think about what's in it for me, and, and um, especially if you want someone to change. So in my role um, as an organizational development professional, a lot of times I'm asking people to make a change in their life. Um, and so explaining why it is that they need to make this change, what's in it for them, and then maybe talking a little bit about my personal experience with this change. Yeah. Um, I think all of those are, are things I keep in mind when I'm communicating. So like you see the buy-in when you're mm -hmm. explaining something that's going to help shape the direction somebody's going in, mm -hmm. them understanding why they're going in that direction really helps a lot. Yes, I would agree. Do you, do you, do you face a lot of resistance on that or if somebody's not like grasping on the why they're doing this? Mm, I think sometimes I see some hesitancy like do I have to do it the way I'm doing it doing what you're asking me to do now still working um, why should I change and for me I often emphasize to people that it's not going to be as tough as you think it is in fact here's here's how easy it can be and then a lot of times with communication um, you know in smaller settings not too many people I actually offer to walk them through whatever it is that I want mm. them to do like practice with me hey let's practice doing this thing that you want to do if it's technology related let me show you how to do it um, if it's more a behavior change I want you to do uh, with one of your employees later I'll say hey let's let's role play this what if I say this or what could what could you say if someone says that how could you do that so in a way you're you're kind of you're coaching people uh, a little bit yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you are so and mm -hmm. part of it is navigating so there's the skills involved that we can mm -hmm. wind down with this there's the skills be it knowledge or technical based mm -hmm. but then also is this helping them navigate um, the landscape and the corporation mm -hmm. too yeah yeah it's it's kind of it's you know starting with the why too it's reducing ambiguity a lot people might they're just uncomfortable with what's happening or what what might be happening or the change that's coming so this is reducing the ambiguity about what is going to happen yeah and you know i share that a lot too that i'm glad that you mentioned that mm -hmm. point too because when we're connected not just to our why and our Simon mm -hmm. neck why yep. start with why <laughs> but also like we know um you know there's a purpose behind whatever it is we're mm -hmm. doing we're much more likely to buy into it Mm -hmm. um, put more effort into it and, and the what, but we can go off in so many directions with yep. that. Okay. All right. So you're, you're a great communicator, right? You consider yourself, you don't have that story in your head that you're not a good communicator doing really well here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course I don't have that story. She, she does. <laughs> she does a fair amount of speaking to groups. So mm -hmm. I, I was happy to share this, but thanks for yep. your time. Thank you.